Hey Hassan, good Hello. seeing you again. Likewise, so we are in MWC and a uh, lot of things going on. Uh, so what are you hearing from the customer? Well, first it's a super busy show. I love to see the excitement and the hype that's around here. Uh, what we see from the customers is AI is everywhere and we're really looking at how we can uh, evolve the state of the ecosystem and, and move the industry forward, uh, particularly driven by advances that we're seeing across the industry or with, with generative AI. Uh, and we're also seeing transformation in how networks are, are being run and how uh, telcos and operators are planning to evolve their infrastructure. More on the like uh, like cloudification of the network? Yeah, uh, transformation, transformation, making, uh, making networks, networks more cloud native, uh, more automated, lower cost to, to operate, um, far more efficient and more scalable. So capacity is increasing uh, and we have to That's figure terrific. out how we do that at scale. That's terrific, yeah. Like um, you talked about some of these challenges like generative AI and this. What I see that a lot of automation aspects of is going on. You know, not just day zero, day one, day two, how do you actually automate, how do you actually manage the falls, but also there are companies that are putting a large language model on top of it and creating uh, kind of a like a voice based um, you know uh, deployment kind of scenarios. How yeah, do you see this thing? I mean, I think it's fascinating and again just on the topic of AI. The opportunities here are so significant in how all the workflows that uh, a traditional operator can uh, use AI to enhance them are, uh, I think we're just scratching the surface and the potential is so huge. Yeah. I'm actually curious, based on what, you're, what yeah. you've been seeing, how, how do you see the operators uh, looking to address some of these challenges? I think that's what uh, these guys have, I mean, we have gone a long way from what we have been had before, now it's getting um, deployed. You know, we've been started deploying it with our partners through 2018-90. So right now, a lot of closed loop automation. How do I actually automate the whole network? How do I use the generative AI, as well as other models, to actually automate the elements of it, and then um, add functionality on top of it? Yeah. The other aspect is the monetization. This is one aspect of it. Then the other thing is that how do I add service? What kind of new service I'm talking about? Absolutely. So those aspects of it, because telcos has to make money. Yeah. And they're looking towards uh, companies like Google's of the world to see what can you do, you know? Absolutely, and I think there's, there's both top line and bottom line. And if you look at um, some of the examples we're starting to see emerge in the telecom industry around generative, generative AI, and in particular, we see things powered by Gemini, which are the new yeah. set of models that, that Google has just introduced. Um, some very cool examples we've come across in the conversation. So for one of them is uh, network operations through um, just natural language. Oh. So there are examples where you can actually um, talk to a chatbot and say, tell me how should I configure a network? Right. And then it will give you all the instructions that you, uh, in very simple language on what you need to do uh, using your cloud console and other tools that you typically have. And it even will generate code to say, okay, if you want to create this network with these attributes expressed yeah. in natural language, this is how you should create the YAML for it. Yeah. And this is how you should roll it out. And you can even debug it. So you're in the process of rolling things out. Uh, you can see, hey, this configuration mismatches, and so when I try yeah. to run it, these pods are in a pending state or they, they get so stuck. So you can automate many of those aspects. Huh? Yeah, so it, it really is turning operation world workflows into very natural language processing. It's terrific. Uh, and you know, uh, Hassan, I mean, Intel and Google has a long history of collaboration. Yeah. What are you doing together? I mean, I'm very excited about what we're doing together. Uh, everything from platform automation, AI, there's a lot, there's a lot that we're working on together. On the platform side, uh, we're seeing the evolution of the new series of uh, infrastructure to run VRAN workloads right. in partnership with Intel, but also some of the major equipment providers right. uh, who, who run the software on top. So we partnered closely on the, on the newest generation of Intel processors to actually be the, the beating heart of the platform. Right. So thank you for that. Uh, we're seeing really good performance results as a result uh, because of that work. Uh, and on the automation orchestration side, uh, there's a lot of work we're doing on uh, how do we build a large scale system? How do we manage that where there's tens of thousands of nodes as a system as opposed to many independent units? Um, and of course, I think that we're just really scratching the surface when it comes to AI and how we can optimize yeah. the operation of the underlying infrastructure and also monetize it. Right. Yeah. Just to add to that, we also did a collaboration on the IPU yeah. and on the silicon. Now we can do the work like packet core side of it, how much it runs in IPU. That's a processing good. A lot of uh, collaboration on that ideas as well. Absolutely, and I think Intel is paving the way in many of these areas, and we're, we're very excited about the partnership we have in this phase. Uh, I expect to see a lot of interesting developments come over the. the That's why this is a future yeah. looking future. Yeah. You see, we'll keep doing some of the most stuff or some other new stuff. Uh, I will. I predict in Mobile World Congress 2025, we'll be talking about the deployments that have rolled out, oh. where we're starting to see 
uh, some of these things in the wild and the benefits that we can create oh, both with the platform and, and uh, together uh, what we do with both uh, the platform as well as what AI can enable. Terrific. With that, uh, thank you so it much. A, it was a pleasure. So look thank towards you. the 2025 and then see the Same time next year. Next time next year. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everyone.